watching News Channel 5 Plus. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Inside Politics. Hello everyone, I'm News Channel 5's political analyst, Pat Nolan. Welcome to Inside Politics. Nashville's election for mayor became a two-person contest this week with West Nashville State Representative John Ray Clemens entering the race to oppose incumbent David Briley. Representative Clemens is our guest on Inside Politics this week. John Ray, welcome back to the program. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. So let's start with the basics. Why are you running for mayor? Because I love the city of Nashville and I love representing the people of Nashville. I'm very passionate about the issues facing this city. We have some real challenges facing us right now. Transportation, education, affordable housing. I want to tackle those issues head on and provide our city with some strong, decisive leadership. You have a relatively safe seat in the legislature. You're entering your third term on the Hill. You were unopposed for re-election back in November. So why your interest now more in local government than the years you've had in the state? Well, I just want to continue to serve and work on the issues that I've been working on at the state level. Affordable housing, transportation, and education are things that I've had success working across the aisle, working with different people on those issues. And I want to continue my success at the state level and continue to make an impact. You've been a lawmaker and an attorney, not necessarily a CEO or an executive. What, has made you, what, makes you, what makes you think you're capable of running a multi-billion dollar business that's now Metro government? Well, I have a vision for the future of Nashville that's rooted in our values of equity, opportunity, and justice. Serving the people of Nashville is what I want to do. It's what I'm capable of doing. And I, I'm excited about the opportunity to address the issues facing Nashville. Why would you be a better mayor than David Briley? I would bring some strong, decisive leadership to the mayor's office. I have a vision for you this city. You don't think we're getting that now? I feel like our city is getting off track a little bit. I feel like we have to address the issues facing this city right now. We cannot afford to await to address the issues like transportation, affordable housing, and education. We have to take those issues head on, and I'm prepared to do that. In, in an interview you did this week with the Tennessee, and you sort of more or less said that Mayor Bradley lacks charisma and leadership traits in, in the verbal area to help lead the city forward. Why are those traits and make that big a difference to be mayor? Well, first of all, I'm not running against Mayor Brawley. I'm running for the people of Nashville. I'm running to present my vision to the people of Nashville and execute on that vision that's rooted in our values of equity, opportunity, and justice. You know, representing the city of Nashville, you have to give people a level of confidence. You have to be able to present the city in a positive light, and you have to be a decisive, strong leader to provide the leadership that's necessary to move this city forward. You're not afraid to challenge incumbents to, to get into the state legislature, you defeated longtime councilman and state representative Gary Odom. How will your race this time be different or the same as what you ran when you ran against Gary Odom? Well, campaigns are the same. You know, I'm not afraid of challenging an incumbent and that poses unique challenges with which I'm familiar. But w what we are focused on is executing our campaign plan, getting out and speaking to the people of Nashville in every neighborhood and every community and selling our vision and communicating that with the people of Nashville. Elections always tend to be sort of comparative. Uh, what specifically would you have done differently than what Mayor Bradley has done in the 10 months he's been in office? Well, I, you know, I don't want to dwell on the past. I'm looking towards the future and bringing positive, strong leadership to the people of Nashville. You know, there's a lot of issues facing this city that I would focus on and make a priority. I'd make transportation a priority. We have to address that issue. We have to make sure our schools have the resources they need to succeed. I'm a public school parent. I've got two children in public school. A third is starting in the fall. And I would make education a priority and we need to focus on affordable housing. Affordable housing in this city is a crisis for too many Nashville families. I would make those issues priorities and I would start working on them on day one. In the area of education, there's a good bit of controversy and division on the school board about the leadership of Dr. Sean Joseph, who's the director. Do you support him? Would you want him to continue in his job? Well, I would support Dr. Joseph. He's the director of our school system. Like I said, I'm a public school parent. I have children in public school. My little boys are in public schools. If Dr. Joseph succeeds, then our schools succeed. I want to make sure that our teachers have the resources they need to do their job. And I want to make sure that every child across the city has an equal opportunity to succeed. So I look forward to working with the director of schools and making sure that they're successful. 
there was an effort last year to raise property taxes because Nashville had a revenue shortfall. Uh, would you have supported that? It was mostly to make sure the city funded a 3% pay raise for city workers, which it had promised. But would you do? Would you have done it for that year? Would you do it this year if you were mayor? Look, vowing not to raise property tax rates is the politically convenient and safe answer, but I think it's fiscally irresponsible and impractical. So I'm not taking anything off the table. Like I said, I want to do whatever it takes to address the problems facing Nashville. We've got to provide our schools the resources they need to succeed. We need to keep our promises to Metro workers, the men and women serving our community, the firemen, the policemen. They need and deserve to be paid appropriately. And I would do whatever it took and make those hard decisions. I'm prepared to be that decisive leader to take so on those would, issues. You would, you would probably lean towards making a property tax increase likely to do things like schools and do things like more money for, for the pay raises that were promised in the past for city work. I'm not taking anything off the table. I'm going to provide the strong decisive leadership that we need to address those issues and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that our schools, my children, every child in Nashville has an equal, equal opportunity to succeed in the classroom. I want to make sure we're able to keep our word to those metro workers and make sure and, and build up morale in metro government. And Nashville's a booming city by any standards, so why are we struggling to fund our city services and, and the rest of the government at a time when it looks like with all the growth going on, we ought to have plenty of money? Oh, that's a good question. I think everybody should be asking that same question. You know, we're booming city. We've been booming for some time. We've benefited for, from some strong mayors for several decades now. We have a lot of revenue coming into this city. So my question is, where is that money? How is that being allocated? Why isn't it going to our public schools? Why aren't our workers being paid appropriately? And why aren't we addressing some of these infrastructure issues facing our city? Well, if you're the mayor, what would you do to fix those budget woes? What specifically do you think needs to be done to fix those woes? Well, I would surround myself with smart people and we would look at every possible option. First of all, I'd make sure that you know every department is running cost efficiently and effectively, making sure that we have good government here in Nashville and then I would be prepared to do whatever it takes to address those shortcomings if there are any. We need to look at where that revenue is going that's coming into this booming city and then if we need to take additional steps to provide resources for our schools to pay our metro workers and address the infrastructure issues facing the city then that's what we'll do. Our government local debt level continues to rise. Uh, what plans do you have to deal with that? Because it continues to grow quite a bit over the last couple of years, become a pretty large portion of what is a part of the metro government. Yeah, you know, the debt was kicked. It was a can that got kicked down the road. They've, they've pushed that debt off and now it's starting to come home and we've got to address that issue. This is something that has to be addressed. But, you know, we have increasing revenues in this city. You know, the, the current mayor talks about we have this uh, third highest bond rating, but that's premised on the fact that we have potential revenue growth and we have revenue growth but we have to tap into that we have to address that issue head-on and it goes back to your question we're a booming city so where's the money why aren't we addressing that appropriately John Ray Clemens state representative is our guest he's also a candidate for mayor in the August election coming up here in Nashville back to continue our conversation after this break <laughs>